Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motor home value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, I know it's, for those of you who follow my channel, um, it's been a while since I've done a Class A diesel. And the reason behind that, folks, is because I can't hardly find them. Uh, Class A diesel motorhomes have become one of the scarcest commodity on the used RV market today. And we've got 50 years of, in, of contacts and influence behind our name, and even with that, we still can't find them. But we did find this one, and this is actually a double whammy because I get emails every week uh, from customers, hey, I want to see an Allegro, or I want to see a Tiffin, which a lot of people call all Tiffins Allegros. A huge brand here in the South. Uh, they are made down here in Red Bay, Alabama, been around since 1972. They only make a limited production every day. They're not like the Forest River or Fleetwood or something like that that build 40, 50 motorhomes a day. Tiffin only limits themselves to six motorhomes a day. They do that on purpose. They can build a lot more, but it keeps the market where it's they're very sought after, and they can control the quality that goes out in each and every uh, Tiffin motorhome. This is the Phaeton. It's a 38 GH, double slide, got two slides on the same sides, um, full body paint, got the 330 Caterpillar diesel, that C7, that's just pretty much legendary um, in its own right. I mean, this is one of the most popular engine choices for RVs. It's a high torque, 860 pound feet of torque, got a 10,000 pound towing capacity. And the good thing about it, folks, with that 330, it's not going to kill you on fuel mileage like a 400 or a 450 wheel. And you can still go 75, 80 miles an hour in this motorhome, which is as fast as you would ever want to take something this size. 38 foot, 11 inches overall length. So we'll say 39 feet. Got Toyo tires all the way around with a uh, early 2016 date code. Matter of fact, it's... 0216 so they were manufactured second week of six second week of 16 lots of tread on them you're not going to have to worry about tires for a few more years several more years actually matter of fact you know you keep this thing three or four years get rid of it you'll probably still have the same tires on it got a power awning a 330 cat diesel backup camera uh, of course the phaeton has a domed fiberglass roof And you can see both your slide outs have awning toppers in great shape. Got a window awning on this side. 10 gallon quick recovery water heater. Full pass through storage. It is a four seasons model. Got the heated basement. And like I said, folks, here in the South, the leg rows, and they, and they do nationwide as well, but Tiffin's just got an incredible brand loyalty. And Bob Tiffin, of course, uh, one of the founding members in the RV industry, he's 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 built quite an operation for himself. Great place to go visit. If you ever get a chance to tour their factory, folks, do it. You won't be disappointed. 67,600 miles on it. Got a 7,500 diesel uh, Onan generator, 828 hours on it, if I'm not mistaken. Windshields are perfect, got the air horns, got the air ride, air suspension, um, Allison 3000, six-speed adaptive transmission and more. Got the diamond shield on the front, and like most motorhomes when they get this age, that diamond shield does spot up a little bit. And what the diamond shield is, it's a clear coat protectant that they spray over the paint to protect it from rock chips, bugs, things like that it does a great job but the only downside to it when it gets several years old it'll start spotting up a little bit and the only way and we can get that removed but it's not cheap so i wouldn't let it bother me it's, it's probably looked like that for a while now it you can't even see it till you get within five feet of it but i just want to make you aware of it and we can fix that if you want a price on that contact our sales department I do have a paint body guy that's come up with a pretty good process to remove it, but it's still pretty time consuming. But like I said, I wouldn't let that bother me if I was buying it because as nice as this motorhome is, I know it's still 15 years old, folks. So please keep that in mind. It's not new. Fiberglass roof, uh, 
very little maintenance up there. Got a door awning. Like I said, Toyo tires, a couple of years old. Not many miles showing on them, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. And got a beautiful interior. Let's look inside, folks. As we step inside, we did just put new carpet in here. Uh, had the original carpet, and it wasn't bad. Had a few little stains on it, and it was worn down just a little bit. Not, not bad. In fact, most dealers wouldn't have replaced it. They would have just cleaned it. Well, here's my dilemma, folks. I've got a great carpet crew. They work very reasonably, and they do an awesome job. As a matter of fact, if I told you that this was a factory-installed carpet job, you would believe it. You wouldn't have any reason to doubt me once you saw it in person. And here's the thing. You know, I can pace a professional carpet cleaner to come out with the chemicals and the truck and the hoses and clean this thing out, and it would get the majority of the stains up. But for an extra $250, $300, on top of that, I can just replace all the carpet. So why not? I mean, a couple hundred dollars in the scheme of things is a drop in the bucket, folks, trust me. And it doesn't have that much carpet anyway, so we went ahead and replaced it. It's mostly ceramic tile floor. But anyway, let's look up here in the front. I've got the motor home running right now. No check engine lights. It's got the parking brake light on because I've got the parking brake on, obviously. And this is pretty cool. Uh, the dash air is cold. And I'm going to tell you something, folks. Dash airs and 90% of RVs don't work in Class A's because they're pointless. That dash air is going to keep the driver cool, but as far as any passengers, it's going to do nothing. It's like taking a, a 400 degree oven, putting a single ice cube in it, and expecting that single ice cube to cool off that whole oven. It's not going to do it. Nobody ever uses dash air, so of course the Freon leaks out, lines dry, rot, etc., because it takes power away from your motor and it actually costs more in fuel to run your dash air than it does to run your generator and roof airs. And of course the roof air is a whole lot more efficient. But what you can take away from this is that obviously uh, to a 15 year old vehicle, they've had to have the dash air worked on a couple of times to keep it running. So the fact that they've kept this dash air going means that they've taken care of this vehicle or at least uh, the service part of it. And you can tell it too, folks. I mean, it's everything in this thing's clean. Uh, got the six-speed push-button Allison. The plastic's not cracked. It's got the HWH um, automatic levelers, and you can manually level them too, or you can push a button and it'll it'll take it from there. Um, and that air, considering we're at idle in a diesel, is absolutely cold, folks. Look at that, and it will get colder. Matter of fact, if you put it right there, it's it's in the 30s. And that's at idle. Now, you start going down the road, that air will get colder. Now, keep in mind, it takes it a little while because the main reason the air doesn't work on these when people don't use them is because you got to think about it. Motor, compressor, everything's in the back. That's 39 feet back there. You've got 39 feet of lines for that air to come up here to get to, get to you, the driver. So, that's too many places where you can have a cracked rubber line or something like that and the Freon leaks out. So, keep that in mind. Um, or a seal somewhere. That's why most of the time, especially in a diesel, the dash air doesn't work. And be honest with you folks, we don't guarantee dash airs in any shape, form, or fashion because 99% of the people that buy these things, especially the people who have owned Class A's before, they know that dash air is pointless. So, the fact that it's working, you know, hey, that's great. That's a bonus for you. Um, like I said, it's got the HWH jacks, got heated power mirrors, got power seats these are flex steel captain's chairs very very comfortable a lot of leg room when you put them back all the way it does have the exhaust brake it's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity uh, which I know most of you are just going to tow a, a runabout you don't need 10,000 pounds but it's better to have too much than not enough in fact most most people on the road today just need to find Sorry about that, folks. My memory card ran out of space, so I had to uh, make a little room real quick. Forgot to uh, format it. Anyway, what I was saying, folks, this unit uh, dash looks perfect. Like I said, you can tell they haven't had animals up here, especially cats. They love to get on the dash and pick at that vinyl covered dash, put little holes in it. It's got none of that showing. Uh, windshield's perfect. No rock picks, no cracks, nothing like that. Um, 
Got a curtain that goes all the way around the windshield for privacy so you don't have to give up any cab area. Got the defrost fans to help defrost your windshield. Uh, got the fold down uh, shades as well in case the sun gets in your eyes while you're driving. Flat screen TV. Got a DVD player. And more. Let's look around. Like I said, the seats are flex steel. They're both swivel captain's chairs power or at least the driver's side's power so you can use them for extra seating when you're parked. I like the fact that it doesn't have a real deep slide uh, because when it's in, it doesn't take up all your space. So you can still get around while you're driving. Like your passenger wants to go to the back, they don't have to step around a big wall. I mean, so we, even when this is in, it's plenty of room to move around in here. It's only about an 18 inch slide. So that also gives you a little more flexibility too. If you're in a, an older park that has tighter spaces with trees growing up everywhere, you've got a little more flexibility about what sites you can get because you don't have the 36 or 42 inch deep slide. You've got a 74 inch wide sleeper sofa, got a uh, leather recliner, got a uh, fold up table right here, table and two chairs and there are additional chairs in the rear closet. These are all solid hardwood cabinetry. You've got Corian countertops, which is standard. Uh, stove top, you've got a microwave confection oven. I mean, got the residential style faucet with sprayer. Sink. Storage everywhere. Um, wow, tons of cabinets and drawer storage. I mean, storage is not lacking on this model, folks. Overhead storage there. I've got some books and manuals sitting on the table. I've got a factory brochure that you can look through if you come here in person. If you go to my website, parkwayrbcenter.com, and look at this phaeton there, you will find a, you'll have a, I'll have a PDF factory brochure you can look over and more. Got the 8 cubic foot nor cold refrigerator freezer. Now, folks, I know a lot of you thinking, I want the big four-door fridge. And we can certainly put one in. But... To gain a couple of extra cubic foot in your refrigerator, which most of the time, folks, unless you're going to be living in it, this is more than enough. Trust me, this is the same one I've got in mind, and I've never filled it up. I keep a cooler outside with drinks and stuff like that anyway. Um, but, you know, if, you want, if you're willing to give up all this storage and all that drawer space for just a couple of extra cubic foot in the fridge and willing to pay a few thousand dollars, we can make that happen. But keep in mind that that fridge is uh, not cheap. So, you know, we do have that option. If you want a price on that, uh, contact my sales team. They'll get with my service manager and get you a price. However, folks, this one right here works perfectly. I got my bottle of water in here. Um, already getting cold. I've had it on for a couple hours. So let's see here. Uh, da, 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 14 degrees, of course, in here in the 50s and it's dropping so like I said in a couple more hours this thing will be a full operating temperature but like I said me personally I've, I've this is the same size fridge I've had in just about every RV I've owned and it's been more than enough folks yeah the four door would be nice but I'm not I wouldn't be willing to give up all this space just for an extra uh, couple of cubic foot of cold storage. It's just not worth it to me personally, but you may think different. I would rather have the pantry. Anyway, walk through bathroom, Corian countertops here. Look at this uh, stand up shower with this glass surround. I mean, this is clean, folks. Very, very clean. Look up top. Uh, you've got the uh, skylight that looks great, no signs of water damage. Got the padded headliner, which helps reduce engine vibrations and road vibrations while you're driving. Helps insulate the RV for full uh, for four seasons use, and it's also got sound deadening material in it, so you don't hear as much outside noise when you're inside here. Trust me, folks. Drive one without that, and then drive one with it. You can tell the difference in like two seconds as soon as you get on the road. You've got a private water closet, Corian sinks, and you've got his and her vanities. And I'm going to assume this is going to be his because it's a whole lot smaller. <laughs> got a medicine cabinet, um, upgrade China RV toilet, said the plastic one. Got the sprayer and everything, magazine rack, 
bend in here. Notice all the um, crown molding all the way around the RV. That's, that's a nice touch. Really nice rear bedroom. Got a full 60 by 80 queen size house, queen size bed. Got the original, uh, this is the factory uh, bed spread that matches everything perfectly. Got a large closet across the back. Got your extra chairs in here. Of course, the carpet matches in the closet. We've had them put in there too. There's your two extra chairs, big closet, tons of storage. It, and Allegro does little things too, like the glass in this door is one quarter inch thick, where other manufacturers use eighth inch thick. That's one thing you'll never, hardly ever see is a broken mirror in, in a Tiffin product because of that feature right there. Got a flat screen TV back here as well. More storage. Day night shades in the windows. Air's ice cold, folks. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Um, and you can see, and folks, look at that. Now, if I point, I pointed this on the outside, and it was 96 degrees. So we've got 96 degree heat hitting this RV, and it's blowing out in the 30s out of the air. As a matter of fact, look here, folks. Look how cool it is in here. Now, I know you're not going to run the airs like I do. I've got both airs on high, turned down as low as it will go. But that just shows you. And look here. All right. Let's do it this way. Temperature in here, upper mid-60s. I'm going to show you how well these things cool because a lot of people ask about this. Let's step outside for a minute. Do something a little different here. Right here, side of the RV, 99 degrees. Folks, that's a 30 degree difference in about a, in a couple hours time with the roof airs. Now, folks, how cold do you want it to be? I mean, wow. Now, not all motor homes will have that much of a difference between inside and outside temperature. That just goes to show you how well uh, a Tiffin is insulated. So all this I'm gonna stay in here for as long as I can. <laughs> anyway, folks, for any of you that have always questioned me, hey, do these things really cool good? There's your proof. 30 degree temperature difference. Folks, this unit checked out, ready to go, uh, with an um, extensive RV component checkout by my certified RV techs that is completed after purchase. It's just how it came in besides the carpet. It's 64.9. That's option A. Haggle-free. Oh, that's a comfortable recliner. Haggle-free firm. Non-negotiable. Doesn't matter if you're financing it, if you're trading, or if you're paying cash. It's all cash to us. 64.9. But listen to this, folks. You get this beautiful, low miles, uh, 2004 Allegro Tiffin Phaeton 38GH. Checked out, ready to go, so you're not going to worry about inheriting somebody else's problems. My RV techs are going to go through an extensive RV component checkout, and we just drove this unit 500 miles, so I know the running and driving works great. Dash air is cold, no check engine lights. Tires, just a couple years old with tons of, of life left to it. I know those ride and drive good. But anyway, folks, this unit, after you purchase it, will go in line to get checked out. Take us a couple of weeks right now. Of course, you want to verify that with your salesperson before you decide to buy it or not. Get the current up-to-date lead time for a Class A diesel. My RV techs will go through this thing, make sure everything works like it's supposed to um, on that list. If you want a copy of all the systems that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay contact your sales department and they will be more than happy to email you over or fax you over a copy of that list um, or go over it with you on the phone however is easier for you I mean we can even snap a picture of it and text it to your phone um, but that's included after this unit has been checked out by my techs and it's been cleaned up by my cleaning crew and my service manager comes out and does a final walkthrough and everything he's satisfied with the condition, the mechanical condition, and he's satisfied with the um, how clean it is, he will call you to set up an appointed time or to set an appointment up with you to pick your motorhome up and get your walkthrough demonstration. 
So keep in mind, folks, if you come here to buy and you want it checked out, it's not going to happen the same day you buy it. I'm sorry, but big reason for that is it, it cuts my labor costs down because if I don't check them out till I sell them, that's less people I have to pay in our shop area. RV techs are not cheap and they're hard to find. Um, so that way I don't have as much overhead. Less overhead means I can sell motorhomes like this for $64.9 uh, instead of 75 or 80 grand like everywhere else. So not only that, but folks, let me be honest with you. We have a couple of hundred customers a week walk through these RVs. Tire kickers, serious shoppers, not serious shoppers, curious shoppers. Folks, they bring their kids out here. Their kids have drinks, Cokes, and then we try to, we try to head them off where they do damage. But folks, these things take a pretty good beating out here on the lot just from all the people crawling in and out of them. And, and I don't understand it these days. Nobody has respect for somebody else's property. I, I don't understand it. But folks, I would love to have a tenth of the money back that we've spent on repairs from damage that was done by customers. Um, but you know what? That's just part of it, I guess. Um, that's why so many dealerships just don't let people look through their inventory anymore. That's why they make you get a high-pressure salesperson to follow you around, not just to sell you an RV, but to make sure you don't do any damage to their RVs as well. So I can kind of see that. That's not how we operate, though, unfortunately. I don't use commission salespeople, so I can't afford to hire uh, 20, 30 salespeople to walk around with everybody. I have four salary-based salespeople that get paid the same whether you buy one or not. That saves you money because I don't have to pay 25% commission rate like other dealers do. When you go to a dealer that has commission salespeople, there, it's marked up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission. So you're paying thousands more for the same RV that you could buy here for thousands less. Just for the simple fact they use commission salespeople and we don't. So anyway, that's why we don't check them out, folks, because we check them out, put them out here for sale. Two or three weeks later, it sells. Guess what? We got to check it out again because it's been damaged out here on the lot by customers walking through it. So we're doing double the work for the same price. So it's just easier just to check them out when we sell them. That way, once they're checked out, they're locked up. Nobody will come in and out of it, mess it up. And um, um, you can come pick it up, get your walkthrough demonstration, the, the tech that checked it out. When you get here at your appointed time, we'll go through this motorhome with you, show you how to operate everything, how to hook up at the campground, show you everything works give you tips, tricks, and pointers, show you any repairs he had to do, if any, and all that's included, folks, for that $64.9 price. But just for peace of mind, you're also getting a 90-day nationwide limited warranty. Again, $64.9. You get 21 nights of free camping, because trust me, folks, this is a beautiful RV. You buy it, you're going to want to use it. And first year of camping is on us, folks. 21 nights at select RV resorts nationwide, up to seven nights at a time. I've stayed in them personally myself. There's several locations across the United States. Very nice campgrounds, really friendly people. Free. So, wow, folks, not many dealers are gonna do all that and still sell these things for the low price that we're selling them for. And folks, I know um, you're gonna look up NADA and all that stuff, but let me tell you something, folks. I don't look up NADA, I don't buy them or sell them out of NADA. The only thing NADA is good for is if you're going to finance it, you can see how much money you got to pay down. I look at what these things are bringing online, and the average asking price for this particular make and model within 20,000 miles of what this one has, plus or minus, is $75,000. That's average, you know, taking everybody's price and averaging it together. I'm asking $64.9. Not seventy four four nine like like the average price, but sixty four nine. Now, you can look up the book if you want to, but folks, that's still the price. You know, call NADA up and tell them to find you a a, a, a two thousand four Phaeton with all the options, amenities, and the condition and miles of this one for what they say that it's worth. They'll hang up on you, folks. They don't buy and sell RVs. They don't have a clue what market value is. We do. So keep that in mind, folks. Um, so if you are going to finance this, because technically 15 years old, I guess it would be considered an older motor home, you may have to pay $10,000 down or so.
cash or trade equity. That's just the nature of the beast, folks. Um, you know, supply and demand dictates market value, not a fictitious NADA uh, website that's free to the general public so you know it's not accurate. You know, they don't dictate market value, supply and demand does. You know, supply and demand dictates what we pay for it as dealers. And trust me, folks, if you've seen how little our markup was, considering all the services that we give you for the 64-9 price, you, 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 you wonder how we stayed in business for 50 years, how we keep the doors open, folks. Anyway, 64-9 will trade. Uh, financing available again with approved credit and down payment. Uh, we do have... Uh, we do have a nationwide delivery available, and we do offer extended warranties as well at very affordable prices. So if you're interested in any of that, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out. Um, and like I said, folks, we can deliver anywhere in the United States. We've already driven this coach 500 miles, so it, we wouldn't hesitate, which it did beautifully, by the way. We wouldn't hesitate to take it anywhere else. So. If you need it delivered, just let us know. We'll get you a quote. Thank you for watching my video, folks. You know, we've been in business for over 50 years. In fact, we've been in business longer than uh, Tiffin has. They started in 72. We started in 1968. So, trust me, folks, you don't stay in business in this highly competitive industry that long unless you're doing something right. And considering there's thousands of RV dealers in the United States alone, that's uh, pretty impressive. We sell five to 600 used units a year, and we're not slowing down, folks. In fact, we're getting bigger. Um, you know, obviously, there's no better testimony than that um, as far as how we conduct our business and how we treat our customers, the price and the quality of the used RV sales, any better in that following statement. 50 years in business, family owned and operated for three generations since 1968. Wow. Anyway, folks, check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. You can look at factory brochure. You can, of course, see the video. Pictures, specs, details, uh, a factory floor plan, if it's available, and much more, a lot more information than you're going to get on YouTube. So make sure you check that out. And um, definitely uh, get a lot more information there. So if you're on YouTube, just click over to parkwayrvcenter.com. Go to Class A's diesels and then just search for it and you'll find it pretty quick and you can see my other inventory as well uh, come out and look folks we got 140 RVs in stock more arriving every day and like I was saying earlier even though it cost us a lot of money to do this in repairs we're the only dealer around that you can get out and look at 140 used RVs unescorted without a salesperson you don't have to go through a sales office give up your personal information like you do at other RV dealerships before they even let you on the yard to look at RVs. You, during business hours, everything's open. Uh, mostly everything's priced. We're working on getting more units priced out here, but ha prices are haggle-free. We don't have commission salespeople, no, so that means no sales pressure, no games, gimmicks, troubles, lies, BS, or none of that. No haggling. So the prices are what they are. Um, that's the way our customers prefer it. That's the way our salespeople prefer it. We're a high volume dealer, so we don't have to get rich on every one of these that we sell, and we sell some nice rigs, folks. Uh, 50 years in business, we got connections other dealers can only dream about. So give us a call, 706 965 7929. That number is answered 24 7. After hours, we have an answering service that picks up, can give you basic information, and if they can't help you, they will get your contact info. Send it to our non-commissioned sales department who will call you back the next business day. Um, same thing on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com, and you can also apply for financing and get trade appraisals online as well. But um, we have a 24-7 operator answered chat and text feature from our website for those of you who like to text as well. Um, again, they have basic information. If they can't help you, they will forward your request to our non-commissioned sales department who will contact you as soon as possible. It may be the next business day if you if you do it late in the day or in the evening, but you will get contacted back. Uh, always best, of course, put your phone number in all correspondence because 
Uh, sometimes people misspell a, a letter on their email address or it goes to their spam folder and, and if we don't have a phone number that's the only way we got to contact you and, and sometimes email is not perfect folks so we do prefer that you do leave a phone number if, if you can a lot of people are scared to because they don't want salespeople calling them 25 times a day bugging the piss out of them my guys are non-commissioned remember so there is no sales pressure they don't have time to call somebody 25 a day, times a day, even if they wanted to. And so you don't have to worry about that, folks. If we call you, that means we, we've got an answer to your question. We're not going to call you and bug you and try to sell you something, folks. When you sell almost 600 used units a year, you don't have to put a gun to nobody's head to buy, folks, because if one person doesn't buy it, the next person will because there's such a huge shortage of Class A used motorhomes right now. So selling these things is easy. Finding them is hard anybody can sell an RV folks so trust me um, on that anyway give us a call 706-965-7929 um, got any questions email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com as well of course parkwayrvcenter.com um, thank you for watching keep in mind we have no extra fees no dealer fees no dock fees no tag and title fees none of that stuff folks the price is what you pay plus applicable sales tax.